Let's take one more exercise in SOLIDWORKS. This is exercise number 234. Okay, this is a simple and good example for beginners. There is a little complication. Let's see how we can do this. All dimensions are in millimeter. ISO standard applies on all hole. Wall thickness 5 millimeter. Okay. Now we have one top view and one section view. Section view C A A. Okay. Then we have here one more section view. This is auxiliary view, not section view. This is auxiliary view. Only show this face here. Then there is one detail view. See, this is small detail view. You will see here. And we have isometric view. So if you see uh, this section view, so this body is hollow and you will see the wall in blue color, this thickness 5 millimeter. So first we will create this outer body, then we will cut inside. So this diameter, outer diameter 30, from this diameter 40 and 12 millimeter. Okay, then it straight come down and you will observe here this diameter 112 and 3 millimeter added here, this portion. See, remember this one. Then we will add this one later. Okay, we also need to add this also. Now this diameter you will see here 35. Now width 12, angle given 30 and distance from this center point to here 56. Okay, let's do this first. Now I am going to activate front plane sketch. Now let me activate center line and draw vertical and horizontal center line. Exit. Activate line tool. And connect with this. Connect. Exit. Now here I want to create one more. This extrusion we will do later, but in this. Okay. Now overall length 92. Fine. Now distance from here to the diameter 30. Similarly, this diameter 46. Okay, come down this diameter 112. Okay, now what else? This width or height 12. Okay, let's correct this. Now this height given 8 and the distance from here to this point 3 millimeter. Okay. Now it is a fully defined sketch. First we will make one solid body. Now make this line complete line so that we will get a complete closed body revolve boss base. Now here see line to delete this one and select this line as an axis of revolution and here select end condition line 360 degree here we have two close profile one and two so we have to select any one so i am going to select this one see say okay later we will do again front plane sketch now here select this outer line convert entity select the line and uh, make it construction again here activate line connect with this and connect with this make it complete uh, let's say construction line okay first vertical length Fifty six. Now this width horizontal twelve. Okay. Now distance or diameter. Keep cursor outside and you will see diameter inside radius. So diameter thirty five. Now the angle. Total angle thirty degree 
सो थर्टी डिवाइड बाय टू इट्स फिफ्टीन ओके बट दिस इज सर्क्यूलर एज सो वी हैव टू मूव आर लाइन लिटिल इन साइड सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीट दिस एक्टिवेट लाइन लेट्स मूव लिटिल इन साइड कनेक्ट नाउ लेट्स मेक दिस वन ऑल्सो मेक इट को लीनियर हियर ऑल्सो अप्लाई मेक दीज टू लाइन्स को लीनियर ओके एंड मेक दीज टू लाइन्स पार्ल ओके स्टिल वी नीड टू डिफाइन लेट्स डिफाइन एनी डायमेंशन इट डजेंट मैटर जस्ट टू फुल्ली डिफाइन दी स्केच रिवॉल्व बॉस बेस नाउ हियर एक्सिस ऑफ रिवोल्यूशन क्लियर एंड सिलेक्ट दिस वन ओके नाउ यू विल सी सिस्टम ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड एंड कंडीशन ब्लाइंड थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री कंप्लीट बॉडी से ओके लुक अगेन चेक एडिट now i am going to delete this smart dimension and select distance from here to here 56 okay this is perfect exit now it's fully defined okay now here we need to cut you will see this angle we need to make this one and this is uh, look it this is lies at 8 mm above the bottom face see here so we need to cut 9 mm the center radius 100 then uh, this is going to be line 72 okay and there are five number of holes so let's create a plane select the bottom face here supply 8 num 8 mm and check the direction we need 8 mm upper flip offset now select the plane one sketch make it normal now this view perfectly defined select one circle make it for construction again here we need to define one more circle okay the smart dimension 100 now these radius 9 mm so 9 into 2 something like this okay now select the outer edge outer circle convert entity line just keep cursor and you will see tangent mark just click okay now i want to mirror this so center line mirror line now entities to mirror select this line make sure select copy mirror about this line okay smart dimension let's define angle 72 degree okay trim entity power trim just press and hold and delete left unnecessary lines okay now we have a close profile you will see here fully defined sketch go to feature and activate extruded cut feature okay let's rotate and here choose through all because this is taper so we need to cut only small part of this say okay and you will see the preview just click and hide see now let's make five number of patterns like this 
circular pattern now first direction direction you need to choose either axis or any circular face so i am going to select this circular face equally spacing i want to divide this in 360 way so keep angle 360 five number of instances feature directly choose this one and you will see the preview five numbers say okay now let's define shell now thickness or wall thickness going to be 5 mm here i am going to select two faces one bottom and this is also open from top show preview you will see the preview okay let's say okay see okay let me do one thing front plane section view normal okay look still there is a missing these should be closed so we will do it do this also look okay now at this phase there is a one cut out 70 5 diameter 20 okay let's do this and see the direction you will also see the direction here okay this one we did already select this phase sketch activate circle and draw a circle from center point make it for construction smart dimension 20 now here activate center point arc slot select this center point select this point draw one point to this point and drag see now i want to connect this okay i'm going from okay this one to here to here exit again let's connect with here to this center okay let me select the center line vertical make sure this is vertical okay angle Seventy. Now diameter five means radius two point five. Look, it seems fully defined. This sketch, extruded cut, and here keep end condition up to next. Up to next means up to inside face. This is going to cut only up to inside face. Say okay. See the preview. circular pattern again here we need to choose one circular face so let's select this edge perfect extruded cut here make three feature already selected 360 degree equal spacing you will see the preview say okay look now we need to complete this face also so let's say which one is the okay i am going to select this one A sketch now let's convert entity select this face outer edge convert entity because we need to extend this so i am going to delete this one here one option called trim extend entities now select this line and see this is move up to here similarly select this line and it moves up to here right click select and exit okay let me trim entity power trim and let's trim outer edge now we have a close profile extruded boss base here select end condition up to surface select this surface now you will see the preview okay see now let's make multiple number of patterns circular i am going to select this for direction feature let me select from here three number of no not three five number of instances 360 degree feature this bottom one okay now we don't need to remove this one we see at first stage we, we made one feature 
we forget to add this one let's add this one select sketch one revolve boss base now here line of action or axis of revolution select this vertical line 360 degree blind and here choose make sure merge result and keep cursor and you will see this portion now look this is going to be a complete 360 degree and here we go now we have here hole this is a counter bore hole 15 3 7 there are five number of hole i think this is the last feature we need to do fine then mat alloy steel or something we will apply hole wizard now here we have legacy hole type counter bore now you can see first the bottom diameter 7 now depth we already selected through all so we can't change this one see if we change it will show this option say okay now counter bore diameter how much 15 and depth of counter bore 3 okay go to position select this face now before going to create hole right click uncheck circle and uh, make for construction 100 millimeter okay now select this point and activate tool now place this one okay we will make only one say okay circular pattern for direction I am going to choose this surface see hole already selected 5 number of hole 3 equal spacing 360 degree say ok and here the hole is created you can apply material let's say right click edit material alloy steel now you will see all the properties mass density 7700 kg per cubic meter apply close now i want to change this appearance so go to appearance double click and see this is going to apply similarly go to metal or uh, no need to metal i am going to edit appearance and this is the color i am going to apply say okay don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching